Hi and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange, the second playthrough. Let's just jump into it and see if we can do anything different in uh, Frank's RV. We know that Chloe has the gun this time, so does that matter? We'll see. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Well, do you ever truly know somebody? Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! So many people out there who thought they knew their the partner or knew their beyond. friend. And then they turned yes, out to be, be totally different. Up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Yeah, I'll go through it. I'll find something. I know. Just daydreaming. You, you scope the area while so I cool to Whoa, take the double talk. Chloe. Frank? Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. No prize here. I do know where he keeps the journal. Rachel's journal. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Isn't this who had that gun? Zip, nada, nothing. Maybe? I wonder what the difference is now that she has the gun. Um. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats some. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download a porn. Yuck. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. I don't know if there's anything there. I know that it's uh, another event. That's on almost the side cute here. to see Frank posing with his dog. You. No more secrets. So, should be down here. But yeah, we need okay, something. Okay, this for vent it. is loose. I need something to pry it open. But where we find that, don't remember Ooh, exactly. Frank stash. Don't want to steal that. Um. Is it over here? Oh, can we this use the knife? This is almost as good as a set of keys. Just make sure you don't cut yourself. My blade will open any portal. Hey, jackpot! Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. We read all this before, so I don't feel the need to read it again, even if I don't remember exactly what it says. Um, don't think there's anything new to it. Is that all we needed to know? It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I know. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. You now, feel Rachel pretty worthless me. after all Chloe, that. Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed me. Especially after playing before the storm. Like, Chloe really thinks that Rachel cares, you know? So it feels very backstabby to know this. Bullshit! You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! I did do that. You love me again. Surely. Oh, wow. 
Threw it up there, huh? Wouldn't want to be in that car after. I hate when people are angry driving. It's so. You know, it's scary. It's scary just to sit in a car with somebody who's like angry. They do drive differently. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. Um, what did I say last time? Nobody's fault. So now it's Rachel's fault too. Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank. Bitch lied to my face, Max. I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. I understand, Chloe. I get Even it. Even you, Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. Like I'm being punished by the universe. It does feel so like who that. Do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello. I mean, you blame William? She wouldn't call really? David her dad. Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? No, she doesn't. And he never does. No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. Mm -hmm. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. I can tell. <clears throat> look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Hmm. Yeah, I think that the conversation went a little bit differently. She d did seem a little bit more angry there. Than she was the first time. Just a little bit. She needs a little bit of time. It's fair. Is this. This has to be the going back in time moment, right? Yeah. Has to be. Alright, so we do go- oh my god, that's exciting. I know I don't think we can change much there, but I love the part after where, um, with the different future for Chloe. It's a very interesting aspect of this game. It's an interesting oh my conversations god. you get and stuff. What is happening now? And, you know, we're gonna do things differently as well with that. It's really cool. Andy, yeah, L and R. All right, this was the tricky part, but we'll get there. There we go. Back in time we go. Hello, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give totally me the thumbs up or thumbs fine. down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook? William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. You're just a kid. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? Yep. 
In France, they call them. Crap. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat, how? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Ugh, and then you have to you see him walk out eggs. that door. Joyce loves William so much. That's true. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. <laughs> Just make me look young. Oh, you're so young forever, William. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when you're my- I know I've seen those pictures before. Mama's a West. Mm -hmm. I'll let her know that. It's kind of insane that Max was here the day he left, though. What a mess we made. I remember those cool- She had to see her Chloe? best friend react to that. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. <laughs> it is, it is. And that would be Joyce. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. With I love Chloe that you Matt. can't see the outside. We're going to work at the two whale. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to and stop William from taking his car today. This? I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Can I already start um Shit, stopping him from that? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your car the keys? The keys, please. I don't remember either. Show me first where you find them. And then I'll take him. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. You don't get any keys. Unless I can't take it yet. Why can't I take it yet? Do you have to see him leave first? Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Hello. Cookies Maybe. and popcorn. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. If I can't take it yet, then we have to watch him My leave first. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. What? I would have loved to see Max's mother this. and father too. Oh, Back to the lighthouse. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Oh yeah, I miss movie oh. nights here. Yeah. Cookies yeah. and pie. Sorry. Sorry. Yep. Rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? They're right here. A dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. What are you doing, Chloe? You're the best. Alright. Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't no blow promises. it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Ugh. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Alright. Time to go back. Can we get the keys now? Ha! That someday. Can I take him? Shit, where are my keys? Yes. Score. You mean your college? What do we do with them? Throw them outside? Or what? Because I know I can hear them because he does something with them, right? Don't exactly. Oh. Yeah. I guess that's correct. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Mm -hmm. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. Mm -hmm. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you. And so excited about a bus. Groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Yeah, it'll be so awesome. Max, you are being so fucking strange. 
You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Are we? Well, we'll see about that, won't we? That never happened. This did happen. Right, 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 right. So she never went, like... Did she, like, run away or something? And then this happened. And then that never happened. And then this happened. And this never happened. It's a great photo, though. And then she got a car, and then we know what happened next. Kind of insane. Like, who knows where I would have been if I didn't move here in my life? Like, you never know what a different path would have thrown at you. So, honestly, no idea how we would end up here Hello? either. Are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA the Maxine. Max. Never Maxine. <laughs> I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Hmm. Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Of course, she was all over him. And then I guess you were different. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Yep. Gotta go see Chloe. It would have been fun to explore this, um, this future a little bit. Oh yeah, and you, <laughs> I forgot about that. You drove the bus. I believe I have to skip a lot of this song because it's copywritten, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just skip ahead. Oh yeah, the whales. It did, did happen this time. Here we are. This is such an, a powerful moment in this game. I remember how shocking it was to see it. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? I really can't wait to watch other people play this we game. Never see you again it's gonna be so fun. City. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Not what Max expected either. Hello, bestie. It's you, but it isn't you. Oh, the chapter ends here. I forgot about that. All right, let's look at this. He stole the money. Yes, I did. Wow, I did forget that so many people actually stole the money. Interesting. You kissed Chloe. Yes, we did. Couldn't believe it otherwise. You sided with David. Yeah, it's a weird choice. I know, but we're having fun, right? It's a fun choice. You kept Frank's dog from harm. <laughs> I can't watch the dog get killed, okay? Or hurt? No, no way. Uh, Lisa is dead. Lisa is alive. Oh, the plant. Yeah, we, I think we overwatered it and then stuff, so. I don't know. Um, I think we did that both times. Uh, you didn't help Warren. Or maybe it was alive since probably I forgot to water it twice. And then it lives? Hmm. You didn't help Warren with his exam. Okay, so I missed that probably a second time because I don't remember that. You are not on the Vortex Club party list. 
Another thing, I probably did the same the first time around, because I don't understand how to get on the list, but okay. Yeah, because we had to trick ourselves into the party later in the game. I wonder how you get on the list. Um, if you guys know, feel free to comment that in the comment section. I'm probably not going to explore that, because it's not like a huge point, but let me know how to get on the list. You didn't change the Vortex Club party list. No, I didn't. You didn't erase the cop's message. No, I didn't this time. Um, but I think I did first time. You helped Alyssa. Yes, we did. And we did the same first time. You didn't warn the homeless woman. I'm pretty sure we didn't do that the first time either. Fuck, should have done that. You took a photo in the past. Yes, I did. Pretty sure we did that the first time too. You didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. No. Probably didn't the first time, but I explored a lot more the first time, so could have. All right, we'll continue. Sorry, I had some mic issues. I don't know how long it's been not working, but yeah, probably not long. Hopefully. We're on episode four, dark room. God, we're really close to the end now. We're probably gonna reach the end faster than we did the first time because I am skipping a lot of things. So I don't know how many episodes we're gonna have at the end, but I'm also curious to read the diary for this because we, you know, we never read the diary at all or the journal, so. Reading in a journal about these happenings will be interesting. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we are, though. Hanging out with you it this nice way is that weird. You sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Do you remember the Probably past? easier to write than to visit me. Or what you've written to her and in a stuff? Bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Let's do can that stop? then. This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Yeah. These beach whales are so sad. Yeah, it's really weird. I kind of know how they feel. Stranded? At least, I'm alive here with you. Yeah, but you don't want to be. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Talk about accident, blame William. Let's do... I, I feel like I would have done the left choice, so let's do you blame William. You blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. Ouch. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. So weird. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. 
I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? What missing girl? Let's do what, what one missing, missing girl? girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. So this she ended up the same such her. a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, you think? Don't say that. It might be. It might be, but... I like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? You probably don't want to stay it away too long. It is cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Hmm. None taken. I don't know what it is about this, like, part of this episode. It's just so interesting. Seeing the different Chloe, seeing the different lives she's lived. I wish this was a movie or something. I just... Life is Strange would really suit being a movie. Especially with the time travel aspect, you could... You could really work that into the movie. I don't know about the other games, since this one really the choice is going back and choosing different things and seeing different things. You could actually implement that in a movie, but with the other games it doesn't make sense to show, or you can't show the other choices, player. really. Feels like a high-tech cell. Unless you replay the game, but, I am but you can't do that, that in a movie. The rest to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Can't stop being Chloe. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Truth. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I can. Um... Question is... I don't, I don't feel it necessary to look at everything because I honey. do remember having replayed this twice because of issues. I don't know what oh, happened. Man. I lost the footage or something. No wonder my I think my computer dry. crashed or something. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever? Heard Listen, I should keep the footage even if anything crashes. I so. Punch your face right now. A podcast, dude. I am a pod. Kind of want to focus on their Boy. conversations. Ouch. More than look around. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? You're right. Seems like yesterday. You're right? You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my... live an assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? <laughs> Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. Okay. 
But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? Are they okay? They love you. Um, are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Uh, I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? It must be hard living like you're... You're priceless. Like, uh, yeah, just... No pun intended. I feel like everybody would you're be better off without you. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. No I'll kidding. Show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not Pretty sure have. you both do. Not yet. Hmm. Not yet. It's in here somewhere. Huh? Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. I guess not there. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Ah, uh -huh. here's the DVD. to fall asleep. Earth to Max. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? Must be a really uncomfortable you were sleeping beat position down after for the Max. Day with me. I mean, Aunt Chloe. is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. Good. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but... Being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, 
can you, everybody please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Yep. Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, m my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Mm-hmm. I'm on it, Chloe. Like a pirate. Hello, William. How are you doing? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe, Joyce, Carol? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. Hmm. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. Crazy These hard. bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is yeah. always right. Get it? No? Yeah. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was uh, reading about that missing girl. Rachel meant Amber. to press Chloe, but... Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. Yeah. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... lose her someday. That day might be today for you. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, Not right? might be, but will be. It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. Oh, sorry family. for my yawns. I have been the tired Prescott again recently. The Prescott family might be bad news. But... What do you think about them? Evil. So Next about. question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Uh, she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch. She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like time. it's the last time. <laughs> and please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Victoria. Max, sorry, Cole. Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so bad, Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me. Silence. If you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. Jeez. Oh, we only have one page. That is interesting. So maybe she doesn't write as much in this reality? September 4th, 2013, so much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia, Black Hole Rules. September 21. Yes, I'm older and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable too. Vic and Nathan. They surprised me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat, wrapped up Furoshiki style. Best birthday party ever, also drunkest, I can't sleep. Hey there, diary, remember me? Busy Max, busy busy, can't right now, must shoot, must live, must befriend. Should rekindle with Chloe too. But must vortex first, party time. Object out to go upstairs and get Chloe's medicine. Dang! This is uh, some interesting uh, thing. But yeah, let's go upstairs and get Chloe's stuff.
bathroom here looks the same. Can we go into the room? Yeah, it's all empty. It's really cleaned out. We've done this before though. Pie chart. Letter. I never heard much about William's brother. Yeah. All right, let's get the medicine. I, I just really want to see this um, scene between them. Is the morphine in here somewhere? Oh, we might have to turn on the light first. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. I guess. Nothing I don't know here. how cool it is, but sure. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect your best friend to be in a wheelchair either. I'm back, bitches. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Hmm. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, Wasn't so that something like she I didn't have a long prognosis or something? I know we didn't yeah, read any of the letters. Um, <laughs> You're so adorable. But I'm pretty sure Do you, want you can't else? live too long like this. I don't um, know. Stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. Yeah. My diary is like emo. I needed to get out. back. <laughs> Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Look, can I turn around, please? Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. Mm, I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken Good over times. Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. <laughs> There's still time for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. Literally. This photo. Maybe I could. You could. Listen, Max. After giving Chloe what she wants. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. Mm -hmm. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I think you wanted your parents I'm to be able to say bye but being with you again has been so special 
I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. That's really sweet. You understand? I do. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Accept refuse? I don't know. I'm just gonna go down the accept route. I don't know if we can turn back time and I'll just see what I don't drift know. Drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Fair enough. We must kill our best friend. <laughs> Will you at least give her a kiss before you go, Max? Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. I love how we're gonna save Chloe, but we're yeah. also gonna not I save Chloe. Feels See weird. See you around. See you around, Chloe. Sooner than you think. So strange. Yeah, I still don't like this choice. Time to leave, I guess. Yeah, uh, Max. You ready to? I'm sorry, Willie. Time to get our crappy past back for Chloe, but at least she'll have a future. Here we go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hi. Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Bye, William. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Good thing we're almost done with this episode, because I'm yawning. Max, you are being so oh, fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Right now. And I even had a good night's sleep, Chloe, so it's so fucked up. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. No, you did, I'm Max. sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you no, and a great no, family. No, What's be to be for sorry five years. for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up... We're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Well, we're gonna keep that promise this time. Welcome back, David. Welcome back, cool picture. 
God, I want cake. Can I stop craving cake already? You know you make, could make those, um, like microwave brownies, you know? I've eaten those two days in a row now because I've been craving. And it's so easy to make with, like, the ingredients that you have. But I need to stop. <laughs> but it's so good. Uh. And we're back. But also, we are gonna end the episode here. Okay, we did what I wanted to do. It's not an easy choice to make. A lot of these choices I made so far aren't easy to make because I don't want to make them. I feel like the first time I played this, I made pretty much the choices that I wanted to and and I was pretty fine with the choices I made. There's not many things I would have liked to change in my first playthrough. So it kind of hurts to choose things that I don't want to choose. But it is interesting to see these new scenes, it is. And it's only going to be more interesting the further into the game we get, because the end of this game is just so cool. Like, it's so freaking cool. And I can't wait to see what else can happen. But it is the end of this episode now, so if you enjoyed this video, you can always like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye